Hey guys, making money with Gary. Today is September 4th, 2024. Today is Wednesday, and today the post office closes at, the post office will close today at 12 p.m. in my area. Otherwise, I have to drive 10 miles to go to another post office. So that's why I'm up early and I've been packing, and I'm showing you some items I sold between 10 p.m. last night and uh, 10 a.m. today in the morning. And this book here is right here. It's in the package. And I can't really show you who it's being shipped to. But you see there's a label on it. And that book there sold for $48. But with shipping and sales tax, it came out to $60. And why did they pay that much for this book? Well, it's signed. And he's no longer alive, by the way. He, he had passed away. So he's a famous uh, golfer, and it, it's inscribed. It's uh, it's uh, to uh, Jesse Best Wishes, uh, Arnold Palmer. See? And the book is like, no. The book is like, no. So I'm just showing you. This book here, I had it for a little bit, and it finally sold. I had another one that was signed by him, and it sold a little faster, and I sold it for a lot more. But it was a different book. It was more of a... This book here is also collectible because it's signed by him. And it's a first printing, first edition. Okay, let me move on to the next uh, item that's sold. Now, it might be Lonely Pine Needles, which I very much think it will be. Yes. Okay, right here, I sold one pound of Lonely Pine Needles. And that one pound sold for $27.95. And it's one pound, two ounces. And I give additional with it. And the pine needles range in length from 11 inches up to 20 inches. And uh, these uh, lonely pine needles, the total sale was $40 with shipping and sales tax. But you don't see that on the screen. And you don't even see it sold out. But because I always have put, I have five or 10 in stock. So I never run out of pine needles. So when I'm showing you online here that I sold them, it's not showing that they're sold out because I keep adding more to the pile. Every time this runs low down to one item, I throw another five on there. So it shows I got five items. You don't see that, but you're just seeing, I'm showing you. What, what the order looks like. Okay, that's one order that sold between 10 p.m. last night and today. Okay, now we're going to the next order. Okay, this here is three pounds, five ounces. Each one of those big rolls is eight ounces, and the small rolls are one ounce. And this order here sold for $69.95. And it sold for $69.95. With sales tax, it came out to $92. But I'm just showing you on the screen here. And also, it's showing that this did not run out because I have, I put, I have four or five orders available. So it's never going to run out. I always add to it when it runs low. Okay. So that sold between uh, 10 p.m. last night and 10 a.m. today in the morning. Okay, here's the next item. The next item is one two pound three ounce order, and it sold for $47.97. And the total is would be around $70, would roughly be around $70 uh, with shipping and sales tax. And that sold also between uh, 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. Okay. Now I'm going to move on and show you the next order that sold. This is a book uh, that sold for $11.25, but the total with the shipping is like $17 and change. So, and sales tax. It's like $17 and change, almost $18 probably. But, uh, okay, that's another, that's a book that sold. And now I'm showing you one more item. And this is a bartending book that sold. It sold for ten dollars, and the total it sold for is probably around sixteen dollars. And now I'm going to give you the total amounts. Now here's the books right here. I can't show you the labels where they're going, but oh boy. <laughs> okay, there's a label there. You can see the label. 
there's a label on that one down below you could see it but i can't like show them okay so they're the three books see how i wrap them i tape these very good i use this tape and i go over my packages completely with this tape and i get these uh i i buy these and uh i, I these poly uh poly bags whatever they're called and i get one size fits all and I tape them up so good tight that uh, they fit on anything. Okay. And now this book here, this Arnold Palmer book, is going uh, priority. So it's got a hundred insurance uh, because you know somebody somebody paid like sixty dollars for that book. Now the other the lonely pine needles I have to pack them very quickly because uh, the post office is going to close at twelve o'clock. Thank God the post office only. Uh, a few hours uh, a few hours a few miles away from me so i'm going to show you uh i'm going to tell you what the total was of everything the total for the lonely pine needles uh was 202 dollars gross now in my pocket is 145.87 with the lonely pine needles now the books the books that sold the total is uh, $93.25, and the total in my pocket is $69.25. Okay, and the total of what everything that sold is the gross amount is $295.25. $295.25. That's the gross amount. Now, what I made in my pocket was $215.12 out of that gross amount. And that's between 10 p.m. last night and 10 a.m. today. Now, I know I'm going to sell more items today as the day goes on, but I don't know exactly one when. It just happens when it happens. But I have a lot of products up. I have, over, I, I have roughly around 1,900 items online. I do have items on other websites besides SE. I do have items on other sites, but the newer books that I'm not, you know, I just, I can't list. I got to list vintage here. Now, I'm going to show you something here. When you go on SE, if you want to look at the description, you hit this here, this down at this, and it comes down and tell, it shows everything I wrote about the book. Everything. See? It's all there, all the writing. And uh, I do that with every book. Now I'm going to hit the up arrow and it's going to go up. Now it went back up and it's only showing very little bit of information on the book. And I normally take like 10 pictures of every book that I sell. So I'm going to show you some pictures. You can see that book. That's with the dust jacket off. It's on a dust jacket. And I'm just showing you how clean this book is. And I do this, I, I, there's a picture of a page of the book showing how to do a mixed drink. And I do that, and here's a, a copyright page, and it shows what edition, what year, ISBN number. And I do this with every, every book. I take 10 pictures. And the reason I do that is it's people want to see pictures. They want to see pictures of what you're selling, and this will help your sales. So, all right, guys, I just wanted you to see what I sold today. So now, I, I don't even know if I should go in my room and show you my mess. I'm going to, uh, here, here, here's all the books I have. See them all? See, I've been selling, pulling them out of the shelves. Yeah, here's some. Now, here's a wall of them. They're, they're, uh, there's walls of them. Okay, there is walls of books. Now, in this room, I mean, not listed, the total amount of the books in this room right now is uh, over 3,000 books. It's over 3,000 books. And the total list of books is right around 1,900. And I got a big stockpile, so I could just keep listing and listing and listing. So I don't have to go out and look for books. 
I got tons of books here on the floor that are not listed. And I'm going to list them, and they're going to go on the shelves. Yes, I do have a lot of room in the shelves. I know you don't see that. But believe me, I sold a lot of books over the last month. So I have a I have a hundred books were removed from the shelves and I got a hundred books to replace into the shelves. So and that, that'll bring my stockpile down. Now I'm gonna go through this whole stockpile. I'm gonna get rid of all these books. I'm gonna I'm gonna list them all. It's gonna take me a couple of months. I'm I'm shooting to list two hundred books this month alone. I'm, I'm, I really need to list books. I just, I need to start listing. Uh, I've been going out and getting them and going out and getting them. Now it's time to list them. Now I just got to keep listing and listing and listing. And that's my project right now. I'm going to be listing books. So I've been doing some work on the house. And because I've been doing work on the house, I've been a little sidetracked and I haven't been able to, uh, do my store a hundred percent and not only that i've been doing uh going out and picking pot lonely pine needles because i've been selling so many so i've been doing this for four years so i have a large clientele a large customer base even the books believe it or not i have a lot of collectors they'll come into my site into my store and they'll buy books from me because They'll see books that they can make money on. Like, even this bartender book, somebody else could pick this up, believe it or not, and pay, well, th there's no money there. There's not, no room left. But that Arnold, Arnold uh, that book that was signed by that famous golfer, that book there, uh, Arnold Palmer, that could sell. I mean, somebody else could put that book back up on the internet and ask 100 for it. And they'll double their money, you know. They could they could ask a hundred, charge shipping and everything, and they could double their money. Yes, they could. I've sold them books before, signed by him. I sold one book signed by him for one hundred and fifty dollars a, a few months ago. So his his signature, and now he had passed away. So his signature is worth a lot of money. And I mean, I mean, uh, you know, to a collector, a collector that wants his signature. I do have a lot of signed books. I have a lot of old books. I have books from the 1800s. I have books from uh, the year 2000. I have books from the year 2020, but they're not on this site. 2020 is on eBay or another site. But I do have all the vintage books. Anything over 20 years old is listed on this website. The only time I really list uh, an old book on uh, eBay is if I'm putting it up for auction. If I put it up for auction and have a have a bid on it, it'll go up on eBay. And that's very rare. It happens once in a while. I had one book I did a while ago. I sold it for $1,000. It went up for auction. It was, it was a really rare book, and I couldn't uh, get it right, and I, I knew people wanted it, and I had to get it out there. Now, I do have a book in my store that I get off for $8,000, and it's probably going to sit forever, but eventually someone's going to buy it. It's, uh, it's not a very old book. It's a very collectible book, and it's a technical book, and it's a book that nobody has. So, all right. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like it, subscribe. And also, I'm still having my uh, $50 giveaway for September. And you can go into that video. Uh, go into that video. It's for October. It's, you could go, it's for October 1st. You could go into that video and put you subscribed or you're already subscribed and you'll be entered into the $50 giveaway for October 1st. And if you subscribe from now until October 1st, you will be entered into the video. You just have to, you will be entered into the contest. You just have to go into the comment section in that video and put, I subscribe, I'm done, I did it, I, I, uh, I've been subscribed, or and just anything. So I know you're there, and I will enter you into the uh, $50 giveaway. It's a $50 gift card. I have one every month, and I'm doing that for the next... Till the end of this year and then i might stop or i might continue i'm not sure yet but i've been doing it for a while now all right guys uh 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you learn from my videos. Because I'm trying to uh, give you knowledge that I have. Alright. Thank you. Over and out.